In this tutorial, I'm going to mask out of multiple rows of an edge to edge. To do this, I need to take my mouse above the grid in the upper left hand corner of the viewport, left click hold, drag down to encompass the rows that I want to include in my mask, let go and I get handles, right click, group. Now you can see that the software has uh, combined these into one pattern instead of individual rows. Now I'm going to go to my favorites bar, select mask, find the drop down menu, select sew head, create region, and I'm going to go to my ANOVA sew head. I'm going to use my right handle, the green button on my right handle, which is my place button to create my region. I'm going to use the green button as many times as I want to create my region. As you can see, these are straight lines, so I don't have to click very many points, but I could click as many as I liked. Once I get my region selected, I'm going to come back to the drop down menu, select complete region, and I'm going to have my mask. Now I need to find something that is not part of the edge to edge. And in this case, it's the negative space in between the rows. So I'm going to click right here, which is the negative space, and my pattern is going to turn orange. I'm going to touch the edge to edge, which is now behind my mask. It's going to turn dark green. Come back to the uh, mask tool, use my scroll bar, drag down, select inside mask, continuous sew, and accept. I'm going to come back to full view so you can see, and I have now created a mask within multiple rows of an edge to edge using my mask tool.